We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And finally, just one week ago, the stone grinders for nut butters went out to the public. Woo! Everybody's receiving them and the testimonials have been crazy. I had one friend saying, oh my God, I made coconut butter silky smooth in three hours. Another guy made almond butter and he was saying that after 16 jars, the machine's going to pay off for itself. Nice. So we got many requests from people that didn't buy. We sold about half of them, so we have about half left. And they were saying, I want to see more. I want to see the machine broken down. I want to see the entire process. So that's what we're doing today. Yeah. Maybe we could show them all the pieces in the machine when it's fully taken apart. Yummers. ta -da. Da -da 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 -da. First, we've got the drum with the stone plate at the bottom. Steel drum, stone plate. Right. Then we got the stone wheels. Da -da 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 -da. And then we got the springa -ma jim jam jimblers along mm -hmm. with the shim sham. It's like a knob which you'll, that goes in there, which you'll see in a second. And we got the lid. Ta -da. And then lastly, the base. The base. And it's pretty simple how this works. You take this drum, you put it on here, make sure it's on there. And then we got the, this thing. If you notice, one side's kind of like popping out and the other side's flat. Uh -huh. You want the po side popping out at the top. I'm actually going to put it in this way because you can film it. And... and then you take this spring of a jigger with this thing in it and then you screw it on. You got to push down kind of hard so the spring doesn't, so it works. And you turn it all the way until it stops. And then you got the lid, goes right on top. Voila! You push the black button over here. Button. And we got ground almonds. Just add it in. How much ground almonds? I like to do 24 to 32 ounces at a time. Do you have to use almonds? Nope, you can use all sorts of things. We're going to do tahini later. You could even do mixtures, couldn't you? Like almond with Brazil and pecan or something. You could do all sorts of Brazil nut, almond butter mixtures. Almond butter is my favorite. Maybe you could kind of zoom in here. It's starting to break it down already. And this white piece, what it does is it stops it and makes it kind of, so it doesn't like stick to the walls and stuff mm. as it starts to get less. So it kind of breaks it up. Um, you'll notice like within a few minutes, it's going to start breaking down and turn into a more cake-like quality. But in the meantime, I thought I could give tips while this is doing that. All right. All right. So, first off, it is key to take a fan and put it onto this drum, like put it on the side or something, to where it's just blowing on this steel drum. If you do it, it is guaranteed to not heat up. If you don't do it, it's going to heat up. And you're gonna have the numbers will get a little hot, so it's key to have a fan. People gotta understand that. Addition, look, <laughs> it's starting to cake up already. Normally, there's a lid on it and it knocks it down, but you'll see, it's gonna cake up even more. Additionally, the longer you keep it in, the more liquid like it becomes. We're gonna take play by play every hour on this bad boy. And you're going to see after every hour, see what happens. But after two or three hours, you can have really good almond butter, thick almond butter. But you can also leave it in for two or three days. And when you do that, it turns into a liquid, tasteful delight like you've never had before. It's insane. It's like complete liquid when you, the longer you keep it in. And it doesn't heat up if you have the fan on it. Look at this. Whoa. See, it's starting to... An almond tower. Yeah, this is just after a few minutes, everybody. Stone on stone. All right. All right, so we're going to come back every hour on the hour for probably like two or three times to show you the process of it breaking down. 
But first, um, I actually have two stone grinders. I think we should show them the other one because the other one's been going for like two days right now. This one has actually been in, been going for two days. Uh, that's almond butter as well. This is almond butter. Whoa. The same exact almond. So good, it's amazing. I've been running it for like two days, I'd say. But we don't run it at night because our fans make a lot of noise. We're about to discuss the fans in a second. Fans that blow air on the machines, not our yeah. internet fans running around our house making noise. That's just crazy. After one hour, it's actually less than an hour, like 45 minutes. All right, another hour has gone by. We're at two hours here. We've got thick almond butter. So there you have it, that's two hours. And then if you keep it longer and longer, it gets better and better. So, if you need it quick, you can get it right now, and if you want, like, what we had earlier, that liquid, that was probably like an exact 24 hours time period. So, this is Mount Monarch, rocking the stone grinder, and we'll see you again next time at the Raw Food World TV Show. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you again at the Raw Food World.